Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave, episode 97. Today I'm going to do some more Donkey Kong, because why not? It's Donkey Kong. So, um, I did the video, well, I guess episode 44, I did um, three versions of Donkey Kong that I looked at. The Atari, the Intellivision, and the Nintendo, the NES. Um, and since then, I've done a video, uh, there's a... Uh, a what do you call it, a, like a homebrew version of Donkey Kong for the, the Intellivision, because frankly that one just wasn't that good. Uh, so uh, a programmer, Carl Mueller Jr., created a much better version of Donkey Kong called uh, Donkey Kong Arcade for the Intellivision, and then he had a follow-up D2K, uh, which he, uh, you know, he sent me, he was nice enough to send me the ROM, asking if I would like to do like a small video on it and kind of compare it to the uh, the original in television. Obviously, it blew it way out of the water. Um, but this, these ones I'm going to go with more uh, back to the traditional console ones. If you want to see the uh, the one I did on the the D2K, it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, it's a really awesome version of Donkey Kong for the Intellivision. Um, I Probably we'll put a link to the bottom in this video, so you, if you want to check it out. But uh, so today I've chosen, um, the, I guess the only three that I have left, not including the Game Boy, of course, uh, Donkey Kong for the Atari 7800, which is you know pretty decent version, uh, and Donkey Kong for the ColecoVision. Now this one, when this came out, this pretty much sold the ColecoVision. I think uh, it, it came packed with the ColecoVision, in fact. And that was one of the biggest pluses, I would say, about getting a ColecoVision of the day, was you got Donkey Kong. Because the Atari came with Combat, which is not, you know, it's not a terrible game, but it's a two-player game. It's kind of useless, you know, if you, you've got the Atari for Christmas and you didn't have anybody to play with and all you had was Combat, there wasn't a lot you could do, right? You could just run around and shoot the other tank, big deal. Um, and Donkey Kong was a popular game of the day. I mean, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Qbert, they're, they're, you know, all those big arcade classics. So, uh, when this came out and, uh, they, you compared it to, like, the other versions, it was just insane. Like, this one looked like you were playing the arcade. It's still very decent. Um, and then the other one I have is for the Commodore 64. Um, now, I believe there's two versions of it for the Commodore 64. The one I have might be a little bit different than the other uh, I don't know if it was put out on a cartridge or what, but I'm pretty certain there was another version of it. So this is the only one I have, so this is the one I'm going to show you. Um, and if the only thing that's different about it is it's got all four stages. And um, short of the uh, the one that Carl Mueller did for the uh, the Intellivision, his uh, homebrew version, which also has, you know, f well, it's got more than four stages actually, but it's got the four original stages. Um, the other The other versions all seem to stop at stage two or three. So let's get on to uh, showing off the, the Donkey Kongs. Let's start off with the ColecoVision. Okay, so let's start off with some Donkey Kong on the ColecoVision. Um, so yeah, you've got the skills, like um, some of the other versions. It gives you the skill level. Do you want to play one player? Do you want to play uh, the level one, two, three, or four? It's just really how hard it is. I mean, it's not really any difference. Uh, as far as the gameplay, it's just skill level. So I'm just going to go with one. So as you can see, I mean, the board on this is actually pretty decent. Like, Mar Mario looks like Mario. <laughs> Let's start running here. And the barrels look pretty decent, too. I mean, you can see how this, this version really blew away the Atari version and the Intellivision version. Like, there's just no match. Donkey Kong looks great. I mean, the board looks great. Now, of course, Donkey Kong is on the wrong side. He's over there. Uh, in the arcade, he's over here. I think I pointed that out in my other video. That, uh, you know, Donkey Kong seems to appear on different sides. Oh! That jump was off. Completely off. Let's get to the top there. And Pauline at the top, the, the lady you have to save, she looks pretty good too. Let's 
Sounds not too bad. And his jump clearance is great. And now we're on this level. Oh! Ouch. And this one looks a lot more like the arcade version. This uh, second level. I need to hammer on this one. Here we go. One. Oh, I almost thought he was going to hit me there. Uh oh. Run away. Those guys, those flaming barrel things that kind of look like chickens. I usually uh, try to avoid them. Run, run, run! Aww. Not doing too well. I always try to decide, do I want to do the one side first, and then move over to the other side and get those rivets, or do I want to just uh, do one on each level? And here's the elevator level. So this was uh, this was also introduced uh, on the Coleco version, as far as like a uh, you know the earlier consoles go. The Atari didn't have this level, not until the 7800, anyways. Um, and the Intellivision didn't have it either. Uh, having a hard time jumping there. One thing that always upset me about the Intellivision version was not having this level. I don't know why it went the, the first barrel board to this board, to the elevator board, and then back to this board. That's a little bit weird. Like, it should have gone back to the original barrel board. Or the, not the original, but the first barrel board. So it's kind of weird that it did that. Whoa! Overall, though, I'd say this is a pretty decent version. See, back to this version, or this level again, I mean. Oh. Okay, so now we're moving on to the Donkey Kong Atari 7800 version. So, like in the uh, Coleco version, you get to choose your options. Uh, this one just goes Standard, Advanced, Expert, instead of giving you a number. Uh, let's just stick with Standard, and I don't want two players because it's just me. New Z 1988, Atari Corp, Donkey Kong. Alright. So, Donkey Kong's on the correct side this time. There's no hammer here. It's over there. Kind of weird. I have to say, though, the sound effects on this one's a little bit weird. And going up the stairs is slow. The board looks pretty decent, though. Kind of reminds me of the Nintendo, uh, the NES version. Very similar. The walking sound is a little bit off. But you have to remember, though, the Atari 7800 uses the Atari 2600 chip. Sound chip, it is. So this one goes right to the elevator stage on the second level. Fine though, going up and down the stairs makes a lot of that weird noise with, with these things bouncing. It just kind of... lots of noise. And that was a big jump. He's got a huge jump in this one. <laughs> That's good though. I mean, you need the jump in this game. You need to be able to jump. 
Except for this part. Whoa! And the fireballs look a little different on this one. Everything else, though, I mean, like, whoa. Caught me. Overall, I would say it's a pretty decent version as well. If I had any, any kind of thing to say negative about it, it would just be the sound. But then again, you can always turn the sound off and put on some uh, tunes. <laughs> if it really bothers you. Let's try and run up the stairs. So now we're at the girder, uh, the rivet stage. We put her on a ledge up here. And you got that fourth rivet you have to get. Those flaming things look a little bit more like ghosts than uh, flaming whatever they're supposed to be. Barrels or... I like to always call them flaming chickens because they always seem to look like chickens to me. Especially on the Intellivision version. Hey, we got this little bit of a animation. Galloping sound. It's weird not having the hammer there. I don't know why. Whoa! I find going up the stairs is a little bit trying. And uh, yeah, I'm dead now. Okay, Donkey Kong for the Commodore 64 now. Okay, so we have the difficulty level here. Have to use. Uh, so what they do is they use a symbol to kind of tell you what the difficulty is. So you got the barrel, you got the... That's that springboard barrel thing in the, the second level. That's the pie. And that's the flaming thing. And uh, hammer. So let's go with the... I think this is the first level. Um, or we can try... Try the barrels. Or the springboard barrels. Let's try that. Uh, and then we just have to hit F1 to start the game. Not bad animation actually on that one. The sound was pretty cool. But again, Mario's running is kind of off. And there's a hammer where it's supposed to be. <laughs> okay. And you'll notice Donkey Kong's on the, the correct side again. Oh. Your jump clearance in this version's a little off. You don't have a lot of jump clearance. Almost feels like he just kind of jumps up straight. Doesn't actually, uh, you know, jump forward, which is what you really need because you really need to clear those barrels, and especially the flaming barrels. Whoa, that was close. It's got all the animation there, though. And then we're here to the elevator level. I always find that this this is the, another challenging area for the jump. His jump clearance is just not not there, not there, you know. To be able to do that jump jump that you would do here, you know, jump jump. A little more trickier on this version. I mean, you got to get the precise timing. And this barrel's burning my nose. I don't know why. Come on, move. Jump, jump. I'm stuck. He won't go anywhere. There goes my points. Okay, I'll just go down here and pretend I'm doing something. And he's still there. Come on. You want to go up the ladder. 
Ah, it's about time. I'm starting to get bored. Hey. These seem very uh, small bounces as well. Like, you really don't have a lot of room. Looks like I have to stand to about there. Which is what I'll do. Because this Mario doesn't run very fast, so. There we go. To the grid or, stay, or the uh, rivet stage, I should say. So he's got her standing up there, instead of on that floating piece of girder that's on the other version, or some of the other versions. Right off the bat, I'm starting to notice there's a lot of fireballs. Lots of them. Might need the hammer for this one. And he's coming right up. Definitely need the hammer. Oh, look, they changed color. Okay. They regenerate too fast. That, that's the other problem. Oh, I just lost the hammer just before you took me in. Okay. Don't follow me. I like how they're all trapped over here. They have to go all the way down to the bottom just to come and get me. And now Donkey Kong's upside down. Not much animation for Donkey Kong. I know it's like doesn't look like he moves at all. He just stands there. That's about the only movement. I always like when he throws his little hissy fit and bangs on his chest. So this is the pie level. Don't get to see this level on very many versions of Donkey Kong. Some of the computer versions, like this one, Commodore 64, and I think maybe the, oh, I think the Atari computer might have it. I could be wrong. Don't have an Atari computer, but... Kind of surprised the Atari 7800 version didn't have it. Not as surprised as the fact that the NES version doesn't have it, because that one doesn't make any sense. This is a Nintendo product. You would think their own system would have the final level, the final stage. And I'm stuck. Oh, and I'm dead. Okay, not dead. Let's see if I could get to the top. Oh, and my jumps are just not there. I think I'm going to lose all my lives on this level. It is on the Game Boy Donkey Kong. Oh, got caught on that. It is on the Game Boy version, but I mean, the, to be fair, the Game Boy version, the, the first four boards are very simplified. Well, there you have it. I mean, the all three versions were actually pretty decent versions. I mean, you, they they all had their own little things. You know, some of them had like sound issues, some of them had jump issues, or um, going up and down the ladders, but. Equally, I think they were all pretty great in their own way. Um, th that being said, I did play the Commodore 64 version a lot because it had the four stages. Uh, even though I prefer, I always liked the Intellivision one, which the original Intellivision one when I was a kid, um, I liked the fact that the Commodore one had the extra stages. I don't like how he's kind of sluggish when he runs and uh, seems to get caught on the ladders a lot. And there was a few times where I thought I made the jump, and I just went right through the girder. I don't know what th that was all about. Uh, I was doing that on the pie stage, so it was kind of weird that he kept jumping past the girder and into the floor. A little bit of weird. Could be a glitch. I don't know. Um, you have to respect the ColecoVision version, because, like I said before, it you know th this is what sold the Coleco. This is what people wanted. You know, I wanted a ColecoVision mainly because of this game and, well, Smurfs. I think I kind of like Smurfs, too. But I really like the fact that this was uh, the game you got with the ColecoVision. Um, the 7800 version, okay. I mean, it would have competed with the Nintendo version if the 7800 came out at the right time. 
and you know it was marketed properly and it just wasn't um, I'm not crazy about this version I find the sound effects a little bit off I think they could have killed some of the sound effects on it cartridge looks nice though <laughs> I mean I like the uh, the artwork uh, a lot of the 7800 I think most of the 7800s had that silver color for the cartridge kind of you know boring end labels too all silver I guess some people like it the other thing is too that I got to use this controller for both the Commodore 64 and the Atari 7800 because you only need the one button the Atari 7800 has the ability to have two buttons uh, which is why the, the joystick you get with it um, it's got the, the button two buttons on the sides so you can actually uh, have two different controls but uh, Donkey Kong there's only jump uh, so it didn't really matter this one I had to use the Coleco controller I probably could have done the whole swap out and swap in and, and tried the Atari one. I've, I've never actually tried that before. Um, to actually like unplug the ColecoVision controller and try and put in a standard Atari controller. That would be kind of weird. Maybe I should try it one day, see if it actually works. Um, but yeah, I had to stick with the, uh, with the you know, stiff controller of, of the ColecoVision. Some people like it, some people don't. Uh, I'm on the fence about it. Anyways, yeah, so this probably concludes my Donkey Kong video because I do have, the only one left, I believe, um, is for the Game Boy. And it is it is Donkey Kong and it isn't. I mean, it does the first four boards, but they're very small. Uh, they're not challenging at all because in the, in, the, um, in the Game Boy version, they've given Mario all these, like, all pretty much all the abilities he has in the, in the Super Mario Brothers games where he can jump and flip and... You know, so you'd literally just jump up, do a cartwheel, or a handstand, I should say, and just, like, jump up, all the way up, and then you're done. And then you go on to the second level, again, you just jump, 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 you're done in, like, a second. You go through all four boards in, like, less than a minute, and then, then the real game begins, which is the puzzle game. And so, I might talk about that one later, but it's not going to be a comparison video, because I can't compare it to anything. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Hope you, um... Give me some comments below about what you think of these versions of Donkey Kong. I know I mentioned the Atari uh, uh, computer version, which I don't have and I've never played. And there's other uh, versions, obviously, out there. I mean, there's tons and tons of different systems out there that have a Donkey Kong. These are just the ones I have. So let me know in the comments below which ones you like and which one's your favorite. Anyways, hope you subscribe to my channel. Talk to you later.